I remember there was a time, ma'am, and I don't mind sharing this, when many of the Western countries that used to launch rockets and so on, uh, build their satellite launch vehicles, they told us, look, you guys focus on developing these satellites that tell you all about the weather, leave the launch to us. We said, happy birthday, we're not doing that. We're going to develop our own launch capability. Our first satellite was launched from French, uh, I think it was a Soviet satellite that launched it, and then from French Guyana, French, a French launch vehicle, a Soviet launch vehicle launched our first two satellites. Now we launched their satellites. Yes. We have the capability to do so. And we have done this because of the brain power of our scientists, of our engineers. You know, the common Indian, the sense of pride. We did not have this sense of pride till the National Renaissance. One example that I love to quote, the number of Olympic medals, what we won in the first 60 years of our independence was nothing. We never got a medal except in hockey or, or whatever. And then suddenly we start winning it everywhere else because self-confidence brings that. You know, ma'am, when someone wants to dominate you, the first two things he'll attack are your self-respect and your self-confidence. He'll make you feel totally inferior. Yes. But once this self-respect and self-confidence comes, you realize, buddy, I can look you in the eye and tell you, oh, oh, happy birthday. I'm not inferior to you. I am the first generation born in independent. And, uh, we need three generations for the self-confidence to come back. My kids are the second. Their kids are the third. That's my grandchildren. And they asked me, they said, Grandpa, did the British ever rule India? So, well, sweetheart, I'll tell you about it another time. And they go across the world. They, the world is their oyster. They don't go out to conquer the world. They go out to serve the world.